whether you hit or not for applic being applicable, not just doing the technique. When I do the spinning heel hook, a lot of times you're, you're, it's not good enough to hit anybody or you miss them. So you can't go here one, uh, and if you miss them, what are they going to be doing? They're going to be attacking you. So as soon as that back foot lands, you're going right in. So wherever foot lands, I move in, in with that lead leg. So don't think about doing the spin kick, landing it here, and going one, two, and landing it perfectly without any movement. Think about, I land the spin kick, I move in for that back fist, and that's how I open up my position and then deliver that reverse. Of course, if I'm fighting, I'm going to be going boom and keeping that arm out and striking and driving with my reverse. I'm doing back fist. I'm keeping the, see, I'm, I'm just keeping that lead arm out, pushing and driving and following with that reverse. When I do that back fist, back fist, I'm going to lay it on them. In your point sparring, in your test do, you know, yes, absolutely. In your yong tugi, yeah, yong tugi same. If I want to advance, if I want to continue combination, that's different. If I want to continue to hit, but if I want to boom, I'm hitting and moving in, and you know, it might be okay. But surely for a point fighting, why? Because you want to go one, whether you miss with that one or not, keep them checked, and you got that other to make that, make that point happen.